Welcome back to the Manhattan Project. That's us. Uh, Todd is over here fumbling his way through opening up this bottle that we're going to be reviewing tonight. Um, it is the Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. Uh huh. 125.6 proof. Yep. A batch. 2023. Bourbon whiskey. Yeah. So it's a good one. Well, I don't know if it's a good one, but historically the barrel proofs are good whiskeys. Yeah, I don't think I've had an Elijah Craig since we started talking about the Manhattan Project and we were at your your house and that was one of the ones you had. It was a high proof. So it's been a minute for me. I'm looking yeah. forward to it. Yeah, the C batch last year was really good. Um, I don't know. I think that was the, my favorite of all of them. I don't remember what you had. I think that was a couple years ago. Nah, I couldn't tell you. I was, was wasted that night. <laughs> <laughs> that never happens. Yeah. Can you open the whole thing? Did I not get the wrapper off? No. You had one job. Well, the second job was to look pretty. I guess I failed at both of them, didn't I? Okay. <laughs> Now we can do this. Technical difficulty. Uh, well, we forget. Might not be able to do this. I need a jigger. Hold, please. Let me straighten up here. I'm a strainer while we're at it. Fantastic. It's always something. Okay. All right, so while Jesse is making this, let me use this as an opportunity to uh, tell you about some merch. Shameless plug. Shameless plug. So we've been working on these, and you're going to see these in the uh, right below our video in the merch section. So this one is, as you can see, it has our logo on the front. It's a white t-shirt. A white t-shirt. This is just a sample. And on the back, no Manhattan left behind. Yep. And this is a super comfortable t-shirt, so we are both very happy with it. And we're getting a sample of the uh, trucker's hat in soon, so hopefully that'll be up there too by by the time this video airs. So By the future. Yeah, so go look for these. We're very excited about it. It's another way for us to uh, pay back some of these uh, bourbon bottles we've been buying over the last year and a half. Yes. They're not cheap. They are not. It was in there. All right, well, we'll use this. That'll work. Okay, you all know the drill. I wasn't watching you, so I'm assuming you did everything correct. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we, have, we have bourbon, we have vermouth, cherry to follow. Cherry to follow. Okay. There's also bitters. Good. Yeah. Yeah, I'm... Oh. Well, we're going to do this backwards. We're going to do the Manhattan, and then we're going to taste the neat. Oh. Yes. And we've stirred. Although, if we grab the... Well, it's not going to be sitting on ice. It's not going to so. be... Well, but we're going to be quick about it. Yeah. Do you want to grab the lens? Don't have far to go. No. The color of this is interesting. It's very orange. It's a lot lighter than I would have expected it to be. All right. So let's put those here. You want to give me that bottle? Yeah. Wipe that up. God. I know, right? It's like... It's like a dollar's worth of whiskey right there. Just wasted away. All right. God, you could have given me more. I know. It's a small sample. We have work to do tonight. <clears throat> we do have work to do. Uh, getting a lot of caramel on this. All right, let me hold off on tasting it. <laughs> tasting notes, remember? Or nose notes. I don't know. Maybe it's because I was just smelling the barrel. I, I just smell... I smell like charred oak. Charred oak, very, very little bit of vanilla. Yeah, I'm getting caramel and a oh. lot of vanilla. 
Yeah, I don't get the I don't get the vanilla as much. I do get a, a good bit of caramel, mm -hmm. and I get that like charred oak smell. And this is it's nice. good. It doesn't smell super hot either. No, it doesn't. It's, but it is nice and proofy. So <clears throat> yeah. All right. Cheers. Cheers. Now, now I'm getting a lot of caramel. Uh, a lot of vanilla, I should say. I'm still getting more caramel really? than I am vanilla. Yeah. Mm. I almost. I'm. This is going to sound probably a little ridiculous, but I kind of get bananas. The whole banana runt thing. I mean, I don't know if I get candy, but like, I just smell. I taste. I taste bananas. Yeah, I could be talked into that. <clears throat> Yeah. I like this a lot. I do. It's got the color is really nice. It's amazing how different the color is between the Manhattan. I mean, obviously, you got vermouth in there, so it's going to make it more red, but this is good. This is up there for me. I agree. <clears throat> All right, I'll let you lead it off. What's your, what's your number? Um, what's, your, uh, what's your bunghole number? Um, I'm I'm good at a nine, but I could be talked into higher. No, I think nine's I think nine's good. Okay, it's not the best we've had. No, it's not, but it's really good. Yeah, it's really good. It's not overpowering. Um, it's not. I mean, it's keep in mind too. It's a neck pour. Sure. I mean, like we literally just opened it. I think as this sets and kind of mellows out a little bit, I think it's going to be even better. I agree. It's a little bit proofy, but it's so not. Overwhelming. It's not hot. It doesn't taste too hot. Yeah. All right. So let's do the uh, meat pour nine on the bunghole. Manhattan. Cheers. Cheers. I mean, I don't know why I smell this. They all smell the same, basically. They do. They they just they smell like what we just had with vermouth. For me, let's put That's a cherry in these. Oh, it's amazing how that happens. <clears throat> What the hey, since we're here, let's put a cherry in it. And since we happen to have them sitting right next to me. There you go. All right. Yeah, with any <coughs> luck, by the time we get around to the next Manhattan made with a real whiskey, <laughs> a real yeah. whiskey. Not we part will, of the not we, part of the short series. You will not be seeing a or standing. The series. Yeah, we will not be seeing a standing here. We'll be over there and it's gonna look very the new bar. Very, very different. Very much so. And we're very excited about it, by the way. We're going to look the same, though. Well, Todd's okay. going to be wearing well, a, a tie. We, hopefully we look smaller because we have more room. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cheers. Cheers. Mm. That's a good one. It is good. Um, yeah, this is, I think this is right in the bag of what we like. Yeah. This, re this reminds me of... <laughs> something that we really liked. I can't tell you what it was. I don't know. Hmm. There's been a bunch we, of we've them. We've had a few. So you can taste the whiskey. It's not overpowered by the vermouth. It's well balanced. It's a good one. Mm -hmm. Yet, along with the knee pour, I don't feel like it's one of the best. I want to say it's pretty good. I like it more neat. Yeah. Um, Do you want me to lead this one off? Go ahead. Yeah. I think we're going to agree, though. It's still up there. Yeah. So I'm at an 8.5. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. <clears throat> I wish we disagreed more because then we could talk about it. But, yeah. like, we're always like, 8.5, no, perfect. There's no, Nine, talk, there's no perfect. talking about it. It's, everything defers to my role. So <laughs> <laughs> This is true. <laughs> so, all right. So there you have it. Uh, Elijah Craig, Barrel Proof, Batch A, and it's <laughs> technically... Uh, A123, so the 23 obviously is for the year. Yeah, well worth the price. Really good, uh, both neat and in a Manhattan. So yeah. you can't go wrong with this one. Agreed. So did, did we say the numbers? Yes. You just said the numbers. Nine and eight, five. Perfect. All right, well, there you have it. Cheers. Cheers. No Manhattan left behind. Good job.